Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about left-handed curveballs. Similar to what we saw with right-handed curveballs, there's a pretty steady trend when throwing this to the opposite-handed hitter. So as we've looked at inflection points, we know that sliders are very beneficial in all circumstances. And here looking at curveballs, it's pretty neat to see how the usage alters in terms of throwing more of them to the opposite hand. Looking at inflections for lefties specifically, the first point that jumps out to me is the velocity threshold. It's about 78 miles an hour. So in general, regardless, of the depth, whether you're getting to negative 10, negative 20, et cetera. If you're not throwing the pitch close to 80 miles an hour or better, the odds of success really aren't that high. Piggybacking off of that in terms of horizontal break, we don't see a lot of strong correlations there either. So whether you're sweeping that pitch or it's more of that true 12-6 nature, really not that important. Again, it has to go with velocity and just getting below zero, really. I think one thing that really sticks out when looking at a lot of examples of how curveballs are used is depth is really important to the opposite hand. So for left-handed curveballs, when you're throwing them to a right-handed batter, getting below negative 10 actually is really important. If we look at just curveball inflections in general, depth wasn't that important, but now we're looking at scenarios where if you're throwing a left on right curveball, depth is more so important, and left on left, depth is not that important. So something to remember there is when you're throwing it left on left, it can afford to be a little bit shorter. Left on right, generally the bigger curveball profile is gonna play well. So. Two examples that I was able to pull up here are Max Freed and Blake Snell. So looking at Max Freed, against right-handed batters, his WOBA against his curveball was 196, and lefties it was 207. So pretty steady there, he has a depthy curveball. That really makes sense to me. Also, as we look across at his usages, overall he's gonna be steady in terms of how much he's using this pitch. Looking at Snell, so Snell against right-handed batters had a 296 WOBA against, and against lefties, had a 438 Woba against. So his curveball actually performed worse to lefties than righties. So when we think about this, something interesting is how he has really flipped to use sliders left on left and then left on right, he's predominantly curveball based. So figuring out how those usages are gonna play best for you is gonna be really important. While you're not throwing a ton of left on left change ups that is gonna be mixed in to righties, ultimately for that secondary offering, curveballs to the opposite hand seem to be preferred. So that's a little bit of an overview with left-handed curveballs with some data points that we're trying to get after. 78 miles an hour or better, remembering that depth is more important left on right. Left on left, you don't have to be as big with the break on the pitch and of course can be successful in that scenario. So that's a recap of left-handed curveballs. If you have watched the right-handed video, you notice we talk a lot about sweep. And in the left-handed scenario, we see a lot of the same principles hold true. So for lefty pitchers, one of the things that jumped out to me right away is horizontal break. You see a pretty steady trend that left on left, you're gonna perform well with additional glove side movement. Another piece of the left on left scale is that the velocity threshold is much lower than it is left on right. So left on left, really, once we're getting past about five inches of glove side movement and we're getting above 82 miles an hour, you're looking at a ton of opportunity there for success with this pitch, both in terms of increased whiff rate and decreased WOBA. Now, looking at left on right, we see the velocity threshold really move up. So now you're looking at 84 to 85 miles an hour to get above median average there. And then in terms of horizontal break, we don't see a super steady trend in terms of sweep adding to whiffs. So lefties trying to throw sweepy sliders to righties are not gonna result in the same amount of whiffs as when you throw them left on left. So there are two really good examples here of these slider profiles uh, that the data validates. First guy is Chris Sale. So Chris Sale had a 237 WOBA against two right-handed batters and then left on left with his slider, a tiny 098 WOBA against. So this really illustrates that sweep mechanism. Of course, Sale, a ton of deception with his horizontal approach angle, his horizontal release height, and being able to really utilize that deception with his slider. On the opposite side of that, going away from a sweepy slider, 
We can look at a gyro slider, a true hard gyro slider that's gonna perform well to both-handed hitters. So with that example, Carlos Rodon stands out as a guy who had symmetrical outcomes to both lefties and righties. So in Rodon's case, to left-handed batters, a 141 Woba against, and to righties, a 151 Woba. So what we can start to see here with sliders, and this really pertains to both left-handed and right-handed pitchers, is that depth is gonna be more equivalent to success against both hands, both same side and opposite side hitters. And then sweep is going to perform better left on left. So when we're looking at this and you're really constructing your arsenal and figuring out what you're gonna throw left on left versus left on right, think about that. If it has better depth, we can go left on right. If it's more sweepy, left on left is probably your preferred route with that. That's a recap of what we were able to see with data around left-handed sliders. If you guys have had experiences with maybe manipulating your slider to be different to the left-handed hitter versus a right-handed hitter, let us know. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.